These checks resolve 95% of the issues with water softeners, so we recommend you carefully go through the following steps. The best way to determine if there is a problem with the water softener is to check your water hardness. Take a sample of water from the back of your water softener where the water flows out of the softener. This eliminates any problems further up the line. Use a water hardness test kit to make sure that you get an accurate reading. Water softener test kits are available on the water to buy website. Dip the tester into the water for 3 seconds. Take the strip out, but do not shake it. Wait 20 seconds and then compare your readings to the test kit. Next, check the control valve for the in and out water directional flow arrows. This is a common fault and even the best plumbers in the world can get this one wrong. Follow the hose from the inward directional flow on the water softener. It should lead to the rising mains water supply. Follow the hose from the outward directional flow. It should lead to your water system, tap or water storage. Next, check the bypass valves are open. If your unit is fitted with bypass valves, make sure they're in the open position. The bypass valves are open when they are parallel to each other and parallel to the water flow. Now check that the mixing valve is turned fully anti-clockwise. The mixing valve is used when it is necessary to adjust your water hardness to allow some hardness. In most cases, this should be fully open to allow completely soft water. The brine pipe joins the control valve with a black plastic nut and a brass nut. Check that these nuts are fully tightened. A loose seal on these nuts will cause the softener to malfunction. The brine pipe should be positioned vertically inside the salt cabinet. The filter end should be on the floor of the cabinet and the other end up. For best results, wedge the pipe at the side of the blue vessel so it does not move around. If your water softener is not using salt, this may be due to a natural salt formation known as bridging. Under the salt, at the water level, the salt forms a bridge over the water. Salt above the water level will not be used. To remove the bridge, use a clean object and gently push through the salt and mix the salt with the water. Be extremely careful not to damage the water softener. Finally, check the settings on your control valve. Having the wrong settings will make your water softener inefficient. Download the latest manual from watertubuy.com and watch the configuration videos for your meter or timer water softener. Thank you for choosing Water2Buy. Water filtration made easy.